Hello and welcome to Duck Fantasy Gaming. Sorry, just had to turn down the volume a little. Um, because my main goal is to be heard today. So, uh, yeah. Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm your host, Joe. My co-host is going to be here soon. Um, let's see. Ah, yes. We have to go, uh, I believe, deal with some minor... I'm going to just check out some minor recruiting just to see uh, where things are at. Um, now, first off, I just want to check a certain wall. Um... I forget what it's called, so I don't really care to teleport there. Garen, okay. Let's see how many are off. 17 more, okay, 17. We're 17 away from getting Quincy. We have all of our heroes intact so far. All of them recruited that we can recruit. And now we need to see about dealing with the story. Now, there's going to be a lot that goes down here. And I'm just going to go fetch Dan because I'm probably... Actually, I could probably read most of this myself. Commander Tyre, the soldiers are exhausted. We'd better rest. Okay. So, yeah, it's rest time. It's half time. <laughs> I can't resist. All right. Tire. Tire. Wake up, Tear. 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 You are lost and confused. Grimio's death. Your battle with your father, but you must go on. Perhaps, but... Perhaps, but... Is fate truly unchangeable? Tell me. It is about time I tell you about myself and my older sister, Windy. My sister Wendy and I are survivors of the Clan of the Gate. Tyre, look at the rune Ted gave you on your right hand. That rune, the Soul Eater, is one of the 27 true runes. There are many runes in this world, but they're all born from the 27 true runes. Therefore, the power of the 27 true runes supersedes that of all others. That soul eater you carry has yet to unleash its true potential. My sister Wendy also carries one of the 27 true runes, the gate rune. The gate rune is terribly powerful, but she wants something greater. That is why she is after you. If my sister obtains two true runes and uses them for revenge, it will be catastrophic for this world. The true runes are Far too great for most mere humans. I think that's what she says. Time is running out. Do not lose your confidence. Be brave. And Dan's here. Just got I'll, past the uh, part of uh, telling me is fate unchangeable. Yes. Where Lechnot is uh, giving a pep talk and explaining that Windy desires to have the power of two true runes. Now, contrary to the retcon of Sukona 3. You can access the power of two true runes at the same time. That was just, uh, the Sukodan 3 author deconstructing! Because he's stupid and hates Sukodan. So, we're going with classic lore. So, yeah. Commander Tyre. I was saved by Odessa. Okay. Master Tyre! Good news! Flick! 
Hey, I had an idea while you were sleeping. Uh oh. Right. So that was the source of the fire in this castle. <clears throat> hey, listen up, leader. I have a great idea. What is it? Tell me. Fire spears. Remember? Sure, we deliver the blueprint to Serati. If we can get those things, we should be able to defeat the armored cavalry. After all, the fire spears was Odessa's final gift. I don't know. When the old Liberation High Army's hideout was attacked, it seemed that other hideouts were destroyed too. We don't know if the secret factory survived. But we have no choice but to find out. Okay. Now I'm kind of forgetting, like... Yeah, okay. Okay, I forget where we have to go here. Um, try, uh... First floor? The basement, I guess? I'm gonna just try to head to the, uh... Boat? Oh, yeah, this is where we have to go. Yep, I had an inkling. Hey, boss! Not boss, master tire. Shut your mouth! Anyway, take a look at this. A high-speed boat I made. Well, that'll geezer help the, up too, I suppose. We're about to have a launching ceremony. Care to take a ride in it? I got a bottle ready. Yes, I'll take a r test ride. A novice can't possibly pilot this thing. Please bring someone who knows boats. Boats, boats, boats! How about her? <laughs> no, no. We... How about the captain? Oh, that would be a really good choice. Uh, but which captain? Oh, captain, my captain. Oh, I just ruined the mood. I love Robin Williams. <sighs> I wish I wish life had been nicer to him. Man, he deserved better. Yeah. Anyways, here we go. Admit to party. Now, we're actually going to bring in a whole party. Let's see. Cleo, sure. We're still stuck with Kirkus. Of course we are. I want to pop. Yeah. And why not? Yeah, and we need someone who knows boats. Ah, Tai Ho. Yeah, I don't know if one of the pirates could work, but probably. But Tai Ho is typically the one the fans go to. Um, and I would suggest going to him just in case, because I know it works with him. Um. All right. Now we stick Cleo behind the young master. There. I actually can't wait to get to the second game. Yeah. Just because of the gameplay. Mm-hmm. That said, what I can wait for is the, stu is the story of number two. I don't really like it as much. Yeah. Hey, boss! Not boss! Master Tiger. Oh, we're redoing this scene. Yes, I'll take a test ride. All right. Wow, this really is something. Everybody, hang on. Let's go. Savvy. Let's All go, right, this, Savvy. This thing I love. I love this boat. This is how man was meant to uh, fly through the sea. This is a boat. When he said high speed... He meant it. And this is the the boat that the song Everything is Awesome was meant for. Because everything is awesome. Ah, right. Here we have a lot of, of recruiting to do. All right. Recruitment guide. Who are you people? I'm just doing the laundry. Recruit. The Liberation Army. There should be plenty of laundry. Okay, I'll join. But only if you can go me some soap. I just ran out. Go to uh, the item shop. 
Which is right over here. Sorry, yeah. it's been a while since I saw this. Buy some sugar. Yep. And it's genuine sugar, not, uh... Some sugar for you. One sugar. Fire crystal. Hmm. Sorry, I just was thinking. Did I sell the killer crystal? I think I stored it, didn't I? I think so. We'll have to go back. Now, get to... But I'm out of soy sauce. Will you get some for me? The villager self of Sa Sarah. There is no such thing as any such villager. Oh, wait, right here. I'm kidding. I think it's the guy over here. Uh, that's Melody. He has a specific rune that you get. Okay. So. Oh, at the end. Now he tells me. <sighs> yeah, you have to go talk to everybody in the town. This guy, I think. Yeah. No. Nope. Oh. Okay, someone else. It's one of these guys. George. Ah, yes, yeah, him. Memory match. No, I was looking for the freaking sugar and soy sauce guy. Yeah. I don't care about this schmuck. Okay, so... So we have to beat him in a five different match thing. Okay. This part. This is stupid. We're not looking cool. I... Okay, I don't remember exactly. There. Oh, stupid blinking screen. I'm one of you. Now he joins. All right. Waste of space joined. At the, okay, it's right. Go to uh, the item. So, you're finally reading it right. Yeah. It's well, I thought that uh, here it is. Alright, I got the sugar. Alright, go to the... Alright, let's go to talk to uh, the villager. In... North of Sarah's this guy. I talked to him. He said he wanted uh, soy sauce. Okay. Yes. At the arm shop... Okay, so you're not reading it. Okay. I am reading it. Okay. Yeah, this is a little frustrating. Um, actually, I just bought ninja armor. Oh, well, what do I care? Ooh, chaos shield. I'm going to put one on Kirkus just to carry for flick. Okay. Um, let me see. Eh, silver lip. Like I need those. All right, so. All right, she, she uh, listened to our. Re okay. We are at castle level three. Yeah. Turn. This is freaking here. <laughs> All right. Whoa! You don't have to shove it right like two inches from my face. Calm down. Give the sugar to the villager at the end for a yard stick. All right. So speak to her in Kirav and listen to her request. Won't ask if your castle isn't at least level three. So it's level three. Okay. So next, I must go to the end. Uh, give the sugar to the guy in 
here, which would probably be this guy. Yeah. So. Uh, but he's not uh, responding. Yeah. Okay. There's a problem here. Um, let's see. Um, give the yardstick. I can't. Give, hmm. Okay. Final working. It's on a lag. Your phone. All right. So. Give the yard stick to the villager south of Sarah for some salt. All right, I'm gonna check something out. Uh, Doing I'm gonna try talking to Sarah again. Um, I'm just doing the laundry recruit, but only if you can get go. But only if you go get me some soap. I just ran out. Okay. So hey, why is your phone saying close out? Wait. Okay, she wants soap. Now, okay, so okay, so actually, we need to talk to someone. Okay, so we kind of did a few things out of order. Um, Sorry, this is just so complicated. It is very complicated and convoluted here. And I don't know whether it's poorly thought out or too well thought out. Um, Alright, so the idea is there's a dude who's going to appear. Um, what's his name? Lester. We... Yeah, because you have to try to stew in three of the houses, and then... Two of the houses. Two of the houses. Um... And he should be in the, uh, big building. I don't think he is, but... He might. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was wrong. I owe you 50 bucks. Kim. Yeah, I don't care about this guy's dialogue. Okay. He joins. Great. So, I think we're supposed to recruit him first. That's what the Suiko Guide seems to say. So, yeah. I'm just going to try talking to her again. Belongs to Kunto, the boss of Kirov. Okay. Sure, I'll, I have some soap, and I'll gladly lend you some. But I'm out of soy sauce. Oh, wait, I think we're supposed to talk to this guy. Okay, so the, walk, the guide is actually wrong. Okay, I'm sorry for uh, saying you weren't reading it right. It's that the... It's that the walkthrough is wrong. We're not supposed to just... It's... Because I was going... Wait. I gotta grab sugar. But she asked for soap. Guy asked for soy sauce. There's something not connecting here. The walkthrough is not saying it right. If that we have to go through all of that process and then in reverse. Yeah. Alright. So I have soy sauce. What did he want? Salt. Salt. Alright. Who... Who would give uh, the salt? Um, give the soy sauce to the villager at the armor shop. Oh, yeah, that's wrong. The salt to the villager at the... Okay, so. He wants salt. Um, I'm going to check the inn first, because the guy does not say so. Doesn't say where you get the salt from. Which I'm a little salty about. Mm-hmm, because... Okay, so this thing's actually worthless. All right, I'm, let I'm me, sorry. Let, no. my village at... Villager at the... Okay. Salt. I found her. All right, now I know. I've got a pretty good idea how to go from here. Um, yardstick. Which I believe the yardstick you get from... Uh, her. Oh, uh, no. I'm Guy at the end... Guy at the end? Yep. Yeah, I know it sounds confusing. This is very convoluted. It's 90s uh, RPG. Everything was convoluted. Okay, okay, I understand. You're sick. All right, I've got one. But you do know that I need sugar. Delivered sugar. Yeah. Yardstick acquired. Because I know that there was one time I didn't have to do all this part. All I had to do was talk, buy some sugar, talk to the guy at the end, did that, that entire thing. Well... No, I, I think you, you're you spoke. No, I'm pretty sure you did have to do all this. Crap. Uh, delivered the salt. 
Soy sauce. Um, yeah, the walkthrough, the way it was worded was weird. Um, because it said, like, the way it was worded, it, no, like, it was, like, the person at the place, and, like, no wonder you were getting confused from the guide. It was actually misdirecting us and saying, oh, like, the uh, salt guy gives the yardstick, and the villager right in front of the and item shop gives the uh, soap. Like, what the heck was it talking It's like about? saying, oh, there's a villager inside it, the item. It completely misorganized everyone's gifts. So, exactly. Do not rely on the Suiko Source gu recruitment guide for recruiting Sarah. Rely on what we just did. All right. Next, we have to head over to... To, uh... Kalika? Yeah. All right, but first... I want to head back uh, to pick up some stuff. Um, one, I need to drop off Taiho. Two, I need to drop off the soap. Um, now, let's see. I believe it's second floor for where the uh, guy with the storehouse is. Yep. Um, let's see. Drop. I'm going to drop the soap. Um, don't need... Don't need this. Um, okay. Withdraw. Um, oh. Yeah, we need the paint. Uh, killer crystal. Before we uh, go to deal with anything else, we're going to deal with the paint thing. Um, I'm not grabbing the seeds just yet because I don't really need them right away. Um, third floor for the painter, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I always forget. Now we talk to Ivanov, who's going to paint us, use up the paint. Uh, he's going to paint us up a bit of the image here. One of the classic images of Sukoden. Um, then we're going to go off to, uh, I think, the second floor or first floor. And we are going to see about uh, giving Le Pont a certain item. Uh, oh, right. And I have to equip Le Pont. Wait. Who's got the chaos stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Right. I'm going to equip him with the dragon armor. Um, and the other armor I'll give to Flick. Um, oh, I might stick Flick in the party right after I get rid of Taiho. Okay. Because we've got water room piece. Attach. Now this is really cool. Le Pas. Now as a crit up ratio. Yep. Now I'm going to try to... Um, Alright, let's equip the... Dragon armor on Cleo. Uh, where's the helmets? Okay, obviously Luke gets one. Le Pan needs one. Um, okay, what's the best uh, accessory right now? I always forget. Um, I think guard ring. Alright, we don't need to stat, like, equip uh, Le Pan up with everything, but we're just doing this for fun, just to use them. Because uh, we said we would, and we hate to do... Like, if we're going to say we're going to do something, we might as well do it. Just saying. Oh, ninja suit, got to get rid of. Um, no. Let me see. And Luke gets headgear. Yeah, his defense is a joke. Yeah. Maybe I'll just quickly uh, grab him. Oh, can't grab him. Well, I could grab him quick guard ring. All right, so we 
have a guard ring for him. Um, like, Luke's defense is actually a joke, but it's better than nothing. Oh, better yet, rather than uh, using Flick, I think I'm going to use Kasumi. Why not? Mm hmm. Actually, I'll even take Cleo out of the party. I don't feel like using Cleo. Is that okay? Sure. Because we have to use her later, but I kind of want to train other characters for fun. Oh, right. Ty I hate you, Taiho. I'm going to take him out. I'm going to have one of my best men t have him taken care of. No one's ever going to see him again. Again. <laughs> Um, alright, let's see, where's Kasumi? Alright, here she is. No, like, eject from party. What? How did Pawn get in there? I'm pretty sure I did not admit him to party. There must have been a fluke on my part. Sorry. Uh, who was it? Oh, right, Flick. Hey, where is that moron? Oh, there he is. There you are, moron! I don't think you'd appreciate that. Alright, second floor, I believe, is where the blacksmiths are. Yeah. Yeah, I know we're running around a lot this episode, but bear with us. We're gonna get to that, uh, Fire Spear factory in a minute. Rune Fragment. Sometimes I've even equipped the water thing on, uh, Sumi. Oh, wait. That's right. Right, we gotta equip them up. Already has headgear. We fork it over to Kasumi. Um, Chaos Shield goes to Flick. Uh, we're gonna go back to the armor guys in a minute. To equip her up. Um, and sell some stuff. Um, let's see. What have we got for weapons? 12. Let's have fun. Karinji. Karinji 2. Uh, this is just Karinji right now. Get it? Sorry, I can't resist. Oh, it's the guy in uh, Tayen who does it better. So we have to stop by there. Mm -hmm. um, we actually do have to, to sharpen up weapons properly. Um, so, first off, let's stop by the armor shop. Yeah, we're running around a lot, but, and this might be stretching the video out a little, but, so sorry about that, but we will get this in order. Um, this is stuff you do have to kind of do with characters you're planning to train. Um, because... Kasumi you will be using later. You have to use her for a few levels. So you might as well gear her up. Suit her up! And... Sorry, I had to go Barney Stinson. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Headgear. Don't care about Tai Ho. Um, let's see. Can I stick dragon armor on her? No. What kind of... What kind of uh, chick is she? Not willing to wear dragon armor. Who isn't willing to wear dragon armor? Okay, defense, 14, speed bonus. Let me check guard ring. Huh. Want to put a wing shoe thing on her? Sure. Why not? It's fun. <laughs> yeah, that's our mindset here. Um, wait, flick. Yeah, okay, so just a dragon armor. All right, let me see. Equipment. Wow! Her defense is solid. Um, dragon suit. And I think that's it. Yeah. Now, we're not going to equip up Taiho, because we really don't like him. We don't care about him. He is... Superfluous. Yeah, he's not as... Uh... Now for Mega Medicine. Did I bypass it? Oh, yes, I did. Of course I did.
No! Kasumi is the fastest character in the game. So, of course, you give her a lot of Mega Medicine. Hey, she can be a good emergency medic. Hex doll, whatever. Um, right. We've gotten that sorted out. We go to the basement. Who's next on the recruitment spree? Uh, Blackman, who is in Kalika. Ah, uh, Kalika. You guys might have noticed some dialogue in the one city regarding Kalika. It is the dark shadow of Matthew's past. Kara. Oh, Diane, right. Because you guys have to bear in mind, it's a shadow that's been looming over Matthew's life for years. Because before Matthew quit the military, um, he was approached by a superior officer, who was also his uncle, called Leon Silverberg. And not knowing all what were the upper officers had in mind. Now, he had fought in wars before, and being a junior to Leon, he was asked for strategic assistance with a possible plan, and gave it, and those plans were used to massacre Kaleka. Humphrey was the officer, was ordered to execute the operation, but broke down, apparently, in the midst of the operation. Much to his, um... Dismay. Yeah, he was disgusted by what he was ordered to do. And Humphrey then decided to join, fo help form the Liberation Army out of hatred for the Empire. He was morally offended. And he, and he believes that the blood will never be washed from his hands. Now, Matthew does not blame Humphrey. Matthew blames Matthew. Humphrey bl blames Humphrey. But the thing is, the real culprit was actually... Uh, Leon Silverberg, who used it for used the incident for profit. Now, funny enough, Leon is not the most despicable person, and you actually like his next employer in the next game is even more vile and scummy than uh, Windy, which is weird and funny in, in a dark way because it's Joey Atrades, the most evil character in Sukoda in history. And here's Leon. You must be the... You must be Tyre, leader of the Liberation Army. Ha! <laughs> I know you. Be careful. In a war, only the strong survive. That's all there is to it. You must recruit as many soldiers as you can. Huh. A recruitment-based character. Yep. All right. Um... Ah, well, screw it. I'm just going to go free will. I screwed up with the formation. I'll fix it in a minute. I forgot. It's easy to forget. And I forgot she's mid-range. Part of me was telling me, like, she's long-range. She's short-range, I mean. Now, I have to admit... McDowell's girlfriend sure packs a punch. All right, put her here because, well, uh, she could take a better hit than these two. Uh, actually, McDowell takes a better hit than these two. Um, yeah, this works. Um, X dolls are useless. They don't sell for much. Uh, I'm going to hand over one of these to the pawn. There. How's that? Ooh, an item shop. Just what the doctor ordered. Except, I think not. Black Shadow. I'm using magic because these guys are... Um, very strong. Okay. Damn, every man wishes he was that guy. She hugged him. Come on. I'm kidding. <laughs> I should stop making those jokes about her and Valeria. 
<laughs> Sheena does. He doesn't stop making those jokes about them. But then again, uh, Sheena, I have to admit, Valeria, you go for her body, you don't go for her brains. Just saying. Um, she fell for the oldest trick in the book. Kasumi, on the other hand, a lot of people treat her like an idiot, but she's actually really smart. Mm hmm. Um, though she's got a lot of people, just about half the ninja village of Rokaku has a crush on her. From the Hanzo to, uh, the one guy uh, who wears white to, uh, the one Sasuke brat. Like, they all have a crush on her. But with a bod like that, like, can you really blame them? I'm no, kidding. It's like... Um... I'm kidding. Actually, her best point is the fact that she's smart, competent, and strong. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go deadly fingertips. Okay. No. I forgot that it's not a direct straight line like in the second game. Ugh. Uh, she can insta-kill one. Um... I hope she's... I hope I didn't set, accidentally set her up to... Oh, it doesn't matter. She killed him. There's a reason I sometimes stick her in my end party. Because I'm pretty sure in the novels and in the uh, manga, she is in a final party. But that said... Well, her and Luke. But that yeah. said, she is powerful. And unlike Pawn and even Cleo... And Grimio. She never loses her edge. Although those three, if you bring them to your end party, good on you. They're rock-solid characters. Although, Pawn does kind of lose his edge later. The most. And I'm talking from experienced people. I've used Grimio against the final boss. I've used... Yes, you get him back if you could get all 108 stars of Destiny. Star, sorry to spoil it. Um, I really shouldn't have. But you've got... Um... Cleo I've used multiple times. Yeah. Pawn I've used, but I actually was not impressed by how he did. Uh, Cleo was the most impressive of the trio of original servants. But mm -hmm. Kasumi fares even better than all three of them put together. Yeah. She has better magic resistance, better defenses than them. She's got about as much HP as Pawn. She deals more damage than Pawn. Uh, in the second game, she's actually better with magic than Cleo... So, she's a really good character. I often use her in the uh, Rio group. Rio group for uh, Luca Blight. Um, hey, she's the fastest character in the game. Like, you use that. I'm just going to free will it this time. And I actually think that there was a mistake made in the second game. They should have stuck her with a United attack with McDole. More than Ryu. Now, my reasoning is, they're lovers. Shouldn't they have that Unite attack? Because they reveal in the second game, they have the closest knit bond of all the characters in the two games. So, I'm just going by the manga and the Suikoden 2 stuff. And, yeah, the actual gameplay dialogue. Like, I okay, I got my buildings mixed up. I'm just saying, like, I mean, Victor and Fleck have a Unite attack. And they're about the last people one would expect to have a Unite attack. What are you planning? What are you plan to leave behind in the wake of your battles? I guess I can trust you. Your eyes, your honest eyes. Recruit. Eventually, my seeds will sprout. Yeah, yeah to recruit him, you have to be careful not to step on his plant. Oops. <laughs> yeah. I did it on purpose. I do that as well. We're mean. And there's a reason we're not gardeners. I used to garden as a teenager as a job. It wasn't fun. We're getting to the point when we could finally kick out Kirkus. Thank heavens. Sound crystal. <laughs> Big whoop. Yeah, now we'll be able to recruit Melody. Yep. Yeah. 
And there, we've made it to the secret factory. Whoop -de -doo. Whoop -de -doo. Yeah, I'm gonna kill this one. I hope I can bring Kasumi along for the uh, Nickler door. I just like having her around. She's fast, she hits hard, and she takes a good hit. Mm hmm. So, like, I'm gonna say this. When you're designing a JRPG main love interest for a character, and you, and you want people to like them, in gameplay, make them reliable characters. Okay, you can do her. I like her. Rah! What are you doing snooping around here for? <laughs> I don't know. She's a woman! <laughs> now you can make... Okay. What are you snooping around here for? You better have a good reason or y'all be sorry. Yes! How can I be so unlucky? First I get chased off the mountain, and then I get captured by a giant woman. What do you call me? Giant woman? No, I mean, I mean... My luck's run out getting beaten by that giant of a woman. If you don't stop insulting me, y'all be sorry. Wait a minute, please. I only called you giant woman once. I only said giant woman once, too. Yeah, but Boss Kessler said giant woman twice. You bums! Calling me giant woman over and over? I'll teach you a lesson. Hey, it's Ledin and Kessler. Or, hey, giant woman. I think you get them either way. Yeah. Should we go with the funny option or the serious one? Um. Sure, hey, giant woman. Hey, giant woman. <laughs> what is, who is it this time? You're the one who was with Lady Odessa. Do you know these guys, Tyler? Yes. Yes, yes, that's right. Lady Odessa and this young gentleman here once stayed at my inn. Y'all fellows keep saying Odessa. Are you talking about Lady Odessa Silverberg? Well, the giant woman's not known for her brains, is she? Yeah, or her ears. Who are you? Leader of the Liberation Army? Oh my god! I'd better go tell old Mose. You have business right in the secret factory. Follow me. Now, now we were talking to these bums. What a disgrace. The Imperial Army began hunting bandits and were chased off the mountain. Then I heard that a Liberation Army was formed. I figured I'd join up and came out here. Guess I was lucky to run into the Liberation Army's leader. Now, if the voices are different than last time we saw these suits, because we don't remember, we don't care to rewatch our old video, so we're just going to go with these new voices. Please. I'll go on ahead to the mountain. Take care, Master Tire. Down the mountain. You Down the mountain. <laughs> you had a Freudian slip and said, to the mountain. <laughs> He's going back to die. <laughs> so that, that was a great brain slip. I like that joke. That's good for our viewers. Yes. Because it's comedy gold, as the jester once put it. Oh, man, I love that guy. Master Tiger, please help poor miserable me. All I did was serve them a tea, and they destroyed my inn. He was back to his old schemes with the Imperial Army. That's the implication I'm reading here. He yes. may have said he would never serve poison tea again, but I don't believe him. Honestly, I think those soldiers might have been justified. Yeah. Master Tyre, please let me join the Liberation Army. Jimes. I'll go on ahead down the mountain. Or to the mountain. <laughs> I wish it was to the mountain. You're late. You sure took your time. Mountain pass too rough for you? Old man Moses is in the back. Then we have Kage over there. Yeah. Oh, you must be the new Liberation Army, uh, the, the new leader of the Liberation Army. We all heard that the hideout was attacked, and we were very uh, worried. And what is Odessa doing uh, now? Odessa is, well, she's dead. I see, I see. She was a very good uh, girl. Well, bad. What? <laughs> I uh, guess that blueprint that the blues of the uh, fire spear has become a keep uh, sake. <coughs> fire spear. Do you have any fire spears? Sounds like he's asking for a joint. <laughs> or a fix. 
Of course we do! And we have Jenks in the back, too! <laughs> no, wait, I just made him an Italian monster. <laughs> a drug dealer. Well, I just meant for him to be an Italian stereotype. <laughs> but uh, what about a boat? They can't be transported without a boat. A boat? I have an idea. There's an old friend of mine, Kirov, named Kuntu. He may be able to help. After I make some preparations, I'll join you at Kirov. Obtain fire spears. Yeah. Window setting. Shouldn't have even opened that stupid box. Window setting doesn't serve any purpose. Let me see. Items. Who did I... Who got stuck with this trash? Alright. Um, let me see. Let's give it to Taiho. It's not like we're reusing them. Yeah. Uh, window setting. Um, Le Pan's sound crystal I'm going to give to McDowell if I can. Uh, Flick. You'll we'll, uh, lose it anyways. Yeah, I know. I'm just making preparations. Lightning crystal. I'll give the Kirkus just in case. If we ever use it, we'll use it. If we don't, we don't. My name is Ka My name is Kage. I am allied with neither Imperial or the Liberation Army. I work for whoever is willing to pay a proper sum for my service. He's scum. Recruit. Invite me to join you. You need to pay 20,000 bits. Fine. If you accept me, my loyalty is, is yours. Now, we're, now I need to find a backstabbing brat. Why are you staring at me? I am in love? Yeah, right. Like hell, Ronnie Bell. I actually like Ronnie Bell as a character. Like, giant woman. It's just because she's probably, like, six foot five or something. Yeah. Um, but she's got the right figure. I'm ch Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just saying. Kirov, we have to recruit another guy. Yeah, this is just a recruitment spree. Really. Oh, yeah, there it is. Give sound room. Yeah, Melody joins. There's another character. I think that's all in Kirov. Yeah. Who the hell are you, people? Don't be such a stranger, Kuntu. Ah! <laughs> Taiho, it's been a while. I heard you moved to Kaku. Have you decided to join up with me again? No. Actually, I have a request. Do you still make a living with boats, Kuntu? Boats, boats, boats! I mean, yes, that's my vocation. If I don't work, I don't eat. I'd like to borrow ten of your boats. Ten boats? Doing that dirty work again, aren't you? The Imperial forces have been on the lookout lately, so I can't do much by way of illegal work. Do you mean to refuse? I guess I owe you one, don't I? I'll get you your boats, 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 I mean, boats. Do what you like with them. Thanks a million. Kanto joins. Yeah, Ronnie Bell loads him up. There, uh, that's all of them. The old, man, the old man's a mean one. Making a woman like me uh, carry this load? <laughs> I uh, guess it's a bit much for a skinny one such as you. Really? Dial these people. Yep, they're the Liberation Army. And you're a member? Just for fun. We're just about to ready, Tyre. Let's get going. Master Tyre, I'll come to. Oh, well. I guess I'll keep you company. Ronnie Bell. And we got, like, four characters out of that. All right. How many, like, characters left? Okay. I'm going to go to Garen just real quick, just to check that out. An Earth Rune piece. i got to get rid of that. So mm -hmm. maybe we'll give it to Kasumi. Yeah. All right. We got everyone we could. I'm just checking out Garen. Uh, I know it said 17, but I want to know how many are left that we need to recruit. 
Yeah, yeah, recruit. Uh, six more! We're almost there! So we just recruited 11 characters th in this episode alone. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Now, Moe's is an interesting blacksmith. But first off, we gotta get some, uh, some items of prey. Well, actually, we'll do that after, because we have to stop by that floor anyways. So second floor is what? The blacksmith? Yep. Okay. Thank you. I always forget. Um, I'm just so used to the uh, final castle. I always get all... Or the first castle. Those are the main two I always get. And I always get confused between the rest. Oh, man. Yeah, we were missing about, like, three or four uh, blacksmiths. Like, four. So I think there's seven in total. Five. Oh, five. Okay. My bad. Whatever. Whatever! And we gotta appraise. And then end this episode. You can appraise anything. But a nameless urn. Yeah. Failure urn. Ooh, painting. I didn't even know we had that. Flower painting. Flower power! Oh, shoot, I forgot with the blacksmith we are supposed to set up that stupid uh, earth room piece. It looked like I sold the dragon armor for a minute. Yeah. Alright, my bad, guys. It'll be the last deed of the day. Um, I'm probably gonna have to go... Uh, See about getting some cash. Mm -hmm. Which means another visit to Casper. I hate visiting him. Because it's the best way to raise money for armor and weapons. If you really want to be well um, suited for... Well, well equipped for... Uh, for possible future battles. Mm-hmm. Now, we've got all the recruits we can get, right? And yeah. Just triple checking. Yeah. All right. So if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, hit that notification.